Welcome to Lala's World. Today we're going to talk about how to overlay videos. That basically means put one video inside of another video. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to Google and do a search for Microsoft Encoder. And you click it and make sure you're on the Microsoft site and then you press download. I already have it so I'm just going to go ahead and open up the Microsoft Encoder program. Once you get it open, you are going to want to do the very first tab where it says Transcoding Project. So go ahead and click that. And once it actually opens, you'll see two screen areas. Usually the first thing I do is change my output area and this is just where my file will be saved so I can find it. I've got a folder on my desktop. So if the first step is to import your video that you want to have as the main background video. I'm just going to resize this so it will fit and I can see the whole thing. Then you go to Enhance. Visual Overlay. And then you import that second video that you want. Now you can resize it and place that video wherever you want to. I know it doesn't fit here, but this is just for example purposes. And once you hit the play, both videos will actually play at the same time. See, and both videos are playing. You can actually choose where you want the overlay to actually start. You don't have to have it play for the entire video. So you hover your mouse over the edge until it turns into a double arrow and you resize it to the spot where you want the overlay to actually play. And once you get it to where you want, once you click play again, and then it'll play where you want. And as you can see, it's not in the other sections of the video, just in that one space that I resized it to. And once you get that video position and size exactly how you want it, you can go ahead and push the encode button. And then you basically wait until this portion is done. And you'll know it's finished because it'll actually say ready at the bottom. Video is ready. It'll be in that file that you saved it in. And like I said, I had it on my desktop. Usually it saves it by date, so you just look for the today's date and the time that you did it, because that's the default. And once you open it up, I'm going to skip to the part where I actually had the video playing. As you see, the video is overlaid, or in other words, the video plays within a video. Well, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe.